All right, let's get down to business here, Gemini. See what's going on. The Empress, you know, she is a high exalted card. She can also stand for pregnancy. And she is usually is a nurturer. She's the unconditional mama love is what she is. So if you have projects that you're starting, you know, that may be your baby that you're nurturing, but it does feel with this empress that you have started something and now you're watching it grow. It also can be pregnancy. See, for those of you that want to be pregnant, great. It's a very ripe time. For those of you who do not use your birth control, you should be fine. But for the most part, the Empress shows up to nurture a project to fruition. She's the great mother, the great womb. So um, if whatever seed you planted in the last couple of months, it looks like you are nurturing a project to fruition and it requires some attention from you, Gemini. What crosses you is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is kind of like floating, trusting the journey, um, it may be, you know, smooth waters right now, and you may have to trust somebody else's information to help prop propel this into the manifestation stage. Um, but it does mean trusting the journey, taking a leap of faith, um, trying something new, and just floating for a while till the information comes to you before you make some quick actions. Um, the hangman here, this is a great card. It's one of my favorite cards. It's a major arcana card. And the hangman is basically when you're looking at life a little differently, you know, life was this way up until some epiphany from the past. Usually this uh, comes in, in uh, right after epiphanies, aha moments. So it's when you're looking at life, it's the same life, the same players, you know, this could be the same job, but your perspective have cha has changed on something. And it does feel like you're releasing some anger from the past that no longer serves you. You're becoming a little calmer and a little more certain in your decisions and in your own personal power, Gemini. So what is directly behind you is the Ace of Swords. And these are the God cards or the hand of God. You've got three in a row. So it does look like you've made some huge, huge decisions. It looks like you have released some pains from the past. This can even be something that you were really dwelling on or obsessing on because the Ace of Swords is our intellect. Um, it also can be for cutting words, but this does feel more like you have uh, really cut out or released some old time fears, some old time um, hurts and pains, maybe from your childhood or from the legacy um, of your family that no longer serve you. So you're much more confident in your words, your actions, and it does feel like you've almost been released from a burden or gotten a monkey off your back, if you will, Gemini. Could even be quitting smoking or drinking or something that wasn't serving you. But it does look like the hand of God had had uh, its way in here. Um, so it was imminent that you moved this energy out. It was no longer serving you. And with the hangman here, it does feel like your whole perspective has changed. It feels like your whole being, your heart, your soul, your mind has been released from some burden that was perpetuating by, by your thought pattern. So the Ace of Wands is here, and the Ace of Wands is like a bolt of lightning from the sky. Aces, I mean, um, wands are action, fire, get a move on, you know, all these things that we're thinking of. This is the fuel that uh, lights that fire. So don't be surprised that something comes out of thin air. It can be work related. It can be love related. I don't see love in this pattern right here. So it could be a project that you've always wanted to do and put it off, didn't have time, or you're, you're busy parenting or taking care of your parents. Uh, but it does feel like you have been freed up to now focus on something. And I'm feeling like music, poetry, writing, um, something creative that you have put down for a while, but it is one of your passions. And it feels like all of a sudden you will be picking that up again, uh, which will bring a lot of joy to you. Um, it's it's one of your gifts from God. So it looks like it's necessary for you to incorporate it once again so you can find your smile a little easier, Gemini. The Ace of Pentacles is here and that is all the material things. It can stand for money. It can stand for your physical space. 
um, you know, uh, I can't stand for your home, but, um, I am feeling that you are getting things together on your home front. This may be getting ready to move or uh, looking at homes or vacation homes or just um, starting to really incorporate all those desires that you've wanted to do, whether it's travel or buying a vacation home. And it does look like you are redoing your finances so you can save a little bit to enjoy a little bit more of the fun things in life, not just the creature comforts or the have tos. So it does look like this is in the mean, in the immediate future. So it does look like this gate has opened up for you that, um, that you've allowed yourself a little bit more freedom on the planet, a little less uh, responsibilities, um, whether it's children's or aged parents or spouses or just job. But it does look like you, you're refocusing some of your own energy on your own passions and making those physical physical things that you've always wanted to do come true. So that is what's in the future, Gemini. And as I say, you have three aces here. So it's pretty much written in stone that these changes have, are either taking place or are just about to take place. Place. But with the hangman here, it all this was hanging on your aha moment. All this was waiting for you to feel that you are enough and that you are perfect the way that you are. Start um, enjoying yourself and your life a little bit more. The Queen of Cups is here. She is at the foundation. She can stand for a person. If she is a person, that's a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. She's an intuitive soul. She's a nurturing soul, kind of also a Mama Earth type thing. You have two Mama Earth signs here. So you may be embracing your own maternal sides or nurturing yourself a little bit more. Um, it can stand for a person. So you may be ready to open your heart to to a water sign. This does not necessarily mean it's a woman, um, but they both the Empress and the Queen of Cups are here. Um, so let's get really getting in touch with your emotions, allowing yourself to feel a little bit, not being in your head so much, Gemini. And I really feel it's the incorporation of mind, body, and spirit for you. Um, the blending of all three, which would make sense with this you know this is body this is mind and the action could be spirit so it does look like the blending of threes um, is really beneficial for you and finding that balance but it does look like you have found the key to some of your frustrations and releasing that whether it's therapy uh, sobriety talking to your friends um, you know, commitment to uh, good nutrition, but some big aha moment has changed. So it's kind of set you up to start the rebuilding process instead of just the cleaning up and, you know, the digging deep to all the wounds. It does look like you have reached a lot of the wounds and have come to some um, understanding and agreement about them and been, been able to move past them. And I do think the Queen of Wands, she's not so much a person, but she uh, stands for you loving yourself a little bit more completely, um, trusting your intuition, and really allowing the flow of things and the balance. The Six of Cups is here, and you know, that's messages of love from the past. So you may be, you know, getting in contact with, you know, old friends from the past. You may all of a sudden get an email from a sibling that you haven't heard from in a while, or dare I say, a old love. Usually, um, I like to call this the ghosts of boyfriends and girlfriends past come a visiting. So um, pay attention, see if you uh, have gotten or will be reconnected with someone that was from your heart. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's a lover or a relationship, but it was someone who lived in your heart. And um, it, it also feels like you may be getting your home together a little bit. And it's right along the line of making all these big movements and changes. So, but pay attention to those messages of love that may be coming in October. The Knight of Swords is here. And, you know, the Knight, he kind of slashes through things. He is facing in the backward 
um, motion. He's going backwards in time. So, you know, it's usually two or three steps forward, one or two steps back as, as well. So be gentle with yourself if you do go back in time a little bit, though. It does look like with this sword here, it feels like some communication. Something needs to be cleaned up from the past, a resentment that you've been holding. And it does feel like it's been for years. So it may be with a sibling, a parent. And if it's a parent that has crossed over, transitioned into death, it's okay just to send it to them in your mind and forgive them or forgive yourself or whatever needs to be verbalized. Even if they're on the planet, they will get the message. But it does look like there are some one piece of the puzzle that needs to be righted, you know, to complete the healing. This orange is lighting up for me as healing when I ask um, spirit what that is. But it does look like there is a conversation that is long overdue. So be careful how you present it. Um, but it does look like the other person is open and ready to receive that communication from you. And as I said, whether they're in an earth suit or have crossed over to the other side, um, it still feels like it's necessary that it needs to be either spoken or sent um, to them on the other side through mental mental stuff. The temperance is here that is finding balance. You have a two right next to it. So I, this really feels like a validation that you're finding more and more balance within yourself. You're learning to give as well as receive, not kind of over helpfulitis, but really finding your balance. It does look like your heart is opening up. So for those of you that are in relationship, it may be deepening in the relationship that you're in or communicating about how those changes would work for you. Um, and if you're not in a relationship, it does feel like you're finally opening your heart and getting ready to um, to connect with others on that intimate soul heart level. Uh, there's also an orange triangle here, so it does look like you have been healing your heart quite a bit, whether it's from ills of the past or within the current relationship or, you know, you know, a bad divorce, but it does feel like you have come to some understanding and released some of that tension, frustration, and anger. The anger on the wings here, it feels like it's in your past. And uh, the more and more you release that, the more you make uh, your life a little simpler and less complex emotionally, the more you'll be able to grow. And it does feel like you've gotten some divine information here. And, um, it's also feeling like you had to stop on your path for a while and just kind of wash your sins away is what it's feeling like um, in order to get down to the nitty and the gritty to make things as simple as possible and to really truly release them. These cups are lighting up for me too that you are learning the balance of giving and receiving. It's not just one way or the other. It's both simultaneously. So what is to the left of here is the two of of. Uh, cups. This is an emotional card. This is emotional balance. This um, medical insignia is lighting up for me. So it does feel like you may have had some medical issues that are coming more and more into balance. So you may be getting some answers about them. And if it is a dis-ease that is something that won't go away, it does feel like it is you have found kind of a way to do a workaround or a way to live with this ailment. Um, that will give you much, uh, much stronger body, much, much uh, better um, source of life. But it also feels like this is kind of an extension of what we were saying, opening your heart here. This does feel like um, there's a connection with a soulmate as well. You may have met them already. You may be in relationship with them or you be you might be just ready to open your heart and have that come in. But that does look like a focus after it has been kind of not really even in the in the queue to be looked at. It is right across from the hangman's and the blue is lighting up for me here. So it does feel like once you have uh, found your center, found your calmness, and really looked at things, honestly released what is not serving you anymore, and change your perspective into a little mellower place, a little less o OCD, if you will, um, but coming out of your head and, and being more in your heart has enabled you to open those passages and be willing to receive unconditional love and to give it as well. Um, so you are working at the balance, giving and receiving, so this 
kind of follow suit so that you are ready to either try your hand at love again um, or re-up the current relationship that you have. may even be releasing one that is not um, advantageous for you and has run its course. This is the nine of wands, nine of wands, uh, nines, uh, I mean, wands are actions, nines are like the last bit of something before the final piece is revealed. Um, this also is kind of taking a mental inventory. It can be physical inventory, really looking at the things that you have changed, um, enjoying that that healing. You've pulled off the blindfold here, so it does look like you're, you're actually looking at things more honestly. I'm also feeling that the pressure on your head, this is lighting up, the pressure on your head is lessening the, the more you come out of your head and uh, more into the physical world than, than kind of the mental plane. Um, the less headaches you'll have, the less pressure you have on your head. But it does look like really taking an inventory of the things you've accomplished, releasing the things that no longer serve, saving the things that that are worthy and or just the memories of that and not taking the pain into the future with you. So you are right there, sweet Gemini. You're right there really changing your world. Um, I'm going to throw a couple of the chakra cards for clarity. This is a general reading for October. So um, some things may pertain to you, some things may not. So take what belongs to you, leave the rest. Let's see what spirit has. Well, there you go. There's balance all over the place in this reading. There's twos. There's a couple of twos. You have temperance here. So if you're, congratulations. You are really embracing your balance. And bittersweet. Change is bittersweet. You know, you take the good with the bad. Uh, some of the memories that come up, even though they felt negative, some of those positive memories may be seeping in. So you may be healing your heart from a past love or past betrayal. It does feel like it's very past, that it's not, you know, it's not something that just happened a year or two ago. So this is kind of residual sadness. So go ahead, allow yourself to feel it. But remember, you are attaining balance. So it doesn't look like you'll stay in that sad place for too long. Um, now that you have find, found your smile. 